Uh, the flying platform which you see here is an advanced model developed after eight years of planning. Uh, these tests were made with military use in mind naturally. A low-level reconnaissance craft of this sort can be of great help to the Army. Well, it starts just like an outboard motor. Yes, but its motor is a far cry from a sputtering outboard. This has the mechanically refined movements of a precision instrument. Gosh, what holds that up? Well, most everyone asks that question. The thrust comes from a ducted fan. I see. An enclosed propeller in the platform base spins and gives it the lift. It has an amazing stability, too, and it's quite simple to control. Now, Mr. Miller, or anyone with normal reflexes, could fly it. You simply lean in the direction you want to go, and you're on your way. Well, now, how about that? Hey, just the thing for shooting ducks, huh? Now, can Mr. Miller expect to do his shopping from one of these in the near future? Not for a while, I'm afraid. There were only two engines in this model, and if either engine should uh, conk out, you know, plop. I guess so, and there goes Mr. Millen's dozen eggs, huh? We improved this model in favor of a larger version with three engines, any two of which could sustain the platform in flight. Uh, because of price and other factors, we hardly think the flying platform will ever become a family item, at least in the near future. However, we are developing other projects that may. A rotor cycle now might come a good deal closer to fulfilling Mr. Miller's requirements for an airborne shopping vehicle. Actually, we developed this for the Marines as a portable, easy to assemble and land anywhere one man helicopter. And it's just a thing for rescue operations. The rotor cycle, obviously, could have many domestic applications, or it can be dismantled or assembled by one person in 10 minutes or less. Just a simple matter of removing a few pip pins and very simple to fly. And suddenly you're soaring like a bird. Boy, can you picture yourself up there, Mr. Buller? What speed will it make, Mr. Wilson? Well, Jack, the cruising speed is 52 miles an hour. However, its maximum rated speed is 70 miles an hour. Mm, that's fast enough for any shopping trip. And what's more, the rotor cycle delivers about 18 or 20 miles a gallon. And can land on a dime. What more could you want, Mr. Miller? And the day when Mr. Miller can take delivery of such a one-man controlled vertical flight craft is just around the corner. Well, now, when we round that corner, what will we have to pay for a machine like that? Well, uh, I think that in mass production, uh, you could probably approach the price of a good used car. Boy, that's great. Well, thanks so much, Mr. Wilson. You certainly did give us the answer. Pleasure.